this episode of It Came From My Side of the Laundry Room. We're going to dive right into November's Zanini Box. So, stick around. friends and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room it's that time of month again when i rush out to the mailbox and grab the latest package from zanini box so without further ado let's dive in and see what pins we get this month i want to take this time to say thanks to pedro over at zanini box for hooking us up with these and it's always a pleasure and always a great surprise so Safety first, let's see what we have. If you remember from previous videos, when I would go over their plan structure, it was plan one, two, and three. Now you have the basic plan, the standard plan, and the premium plan. Um, we'll go over which pins come with which plan and the prices as we go along. So, first off, we have the little cheat sheet here, which I'll post at the end of the video. I think that's a good, uh, good way to summarize everything. But let's look at what we have. I can tell you right off the bat, without looking at the pins, that just like last month, they're tossing in some of these nice metal, one is a locking clasp for the back, and one is your standard like butterfly wing clasp, uh, nice metal ones. Um, the pins come with a nice rubber back, but these, I guess, help ensure that you're not going to lose your pin if you put it on a vest, lapel, jacket, backpack. These help keep them more secure, so that's really awesome that they're tossing these in. And on their site, you can also buy a five pack for like 99 cents of the locking back ones, which seems like a pretty good deal. There's some real nice selections this month. So let me switch up the lens so we can get a nice close up view of all these great pins. So here we go. Like in the past, I'm a little bit blurry, but we're not here to see me. We're here to see these awesome enamel pins. So let's start off with the first one in the basic package, and that is Harry Potter. That's pretty awesome. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, OG from the books, as I flex on that, but that is a nice pin. That is a great representation of him, and that's awesome. I'll proudly display that on my pin board. That is, that's great. And I, as usual, I just love this card art from Zanini Box. So that is the first pin in the basic set. Now the basic set runs for $7.99, and with that you get three pins. Here's the second. And this one is really awesome. It's Splinter. There with his bow staff, or cane, coming at you. Again, great card art. Unfortunately, I missed out on the first wave of Zanini Box. And in that first wave was a Leonardo pin. Um, it was based on the Michael Bay version. So, it's kind of give or take. But this Splinter... I can't really tell which version this is. It seems like an amalgam of maybe the first, the G1 cartoon, maybe the 2012 cartoon a little bit. I mean, it is a nice, nice splinter. I really dig that. Nice, like, action pose going on. Pretty cool. Really nice. I dig the color scheme. Big fan of this one. The next pin, we go back to Mortal Kombat. If you remember, we got a Scorpion pin a while ago, so this will go great with it. And that's Liu Kang. 
always been a huge fan of Liu Kang. His bicycle kick, the whoa, 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 always a favorite of mine to use. Now, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan, but definitely love the first and second game. Spent many a quarter in the arcade, and Liu Kang was one of the characters I played the most. You can see in the background is the Mortal Kombat Dragon logo, so that's really cool. Just a nice, nice representation of him. I have to say, nice detail. Love the background. That's a very sweet pin. So those are your first three that you get in the basic set for $7.99, as I said. The next tier up is the standard set, and that is $9.99. And you get one additional pin for a total of four for $9.99. That's not bad. And it's Captain Marvel. Definitely the Brie Larson version from the MCU. Nice colors. Haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't comment on that. The only uh, bit of cinema I've seen her in was Endgame. And she was okay. I think she has the... Uh, I think she has like the binary thing going on because her eyes are all spookified, coursing with power and all that. But pretty nice pin. Again, nice card back. Pretty sweet. And of course, the thing I go crazy for month after month are the G.I. Joe pins. And this month, is truly awesome. And that is G.I. Joe's Warrant Officer, Flint. Now that goes perfectly with the Flint, or the Duke pin. And just like Bazooka, Duke, Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, it is a great version of the card art. Here, the card very nice. And look, it has Warrant Officer, codenamed Flint, right there. Look at that. Same pose, sawed off shotgun, great colors. Really nice. I am a super big fan of these G.I. Joe pins. And you get that in the premium package, which is $11.99. And in my humble opinion, this is the price of admission right here. You get a unique G.I. Joe collection piece that you can't get anywhere else. And nice G.I. Joe enamel pin. I mean, truly awesome. Big fan of the G.I. Joe pins. Anyway, let's go back to normal camera mode. See ya! And we're back. So, that was November's Zanini box. Again, awesome. All that for $11.99. I mean, shop around for enamel pins online. You'll be surprised at the price for one single pin, let alone getting five for that price. So, head on over to ZaniniBox.com to get all the details on how to sign up. And if you use the code laundry room, you'll get 10% off your first order. So, check it out. It's great. Here, let me throw up the cheat sheet for you. I'll throw the prices on it, and it'll you'll get a good idea then. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you got something to say, hit me up in the comments. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you liked this or any of the other episodes that are being offered down here below, hit subscribe. And if you hit that bell, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.